Hey dropshippers and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about print on demand Australia edition. We'll be touching bases on topics such as is it legal to start a print on demand dropshipping business in Australia? What are the top print on demand Australia products for dropshipping? The best POD Australian dropshipping suppliers. And we'll briefly go through seven easy steps on how you can start your own POD Australian business. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So right off the bat, is it legal to start a POD business in Australia? And the answer to that is yes, it is entirely legal. Make sure that your online business platform adheres to the standards set by the Australian consumer law. As an e-commerce seller, you need to provide guarantees such as functionality and safety of products. You also need to ensure that the products that you offer does not go against any intellectual property rights. Ensure that you do not offer any hazardous, life-threatening or age-restricted products because your POD business can be faced with harsh penalties. This means that your e-commerce store can be suspended for selling illegal products. Okay, now that we've gotten that out the way, let's jump straight into the 16 best POD Australian products for dropshipping. So our first POD products are backpacks. And as we know, backpacks are an everyday essential item, which makes it a great POD product. So we can offer all over prints, solid colored, embroidered, and other designs when selling these backpacks. There are thousands of various bag styles and sizes that you can offer for different ages and genders in order to generate more sales. Next up, we have the infamous all over print hoodies. So these hoodies are extremely popular in the fashion industry right now, and that's exactly why they're able to generate a large amount of sales in no time. For these hoodies, you can offer your customers an array of fabric choices and unique print designs for them to choose from. Next, we have baseball t-shirts, which is also a highly popular item in the Australian markets. You can offer your customers two colored or all over print t-shirts, but always just ensure that there is a wide selection for your customers to choose from because their preference differs from customer to customer. Next up, we have pencil pouches, which makes a great customizable POD product. Again, make sure to offer these pencil pouches in various sizes and shapes. Ensure that there are unique texts or graphic personalization options for your customers to choose from. And as a cross sell suggestion, you can throw in cute accessories, such as handles or keychains that you can clip to the opening zip of this product. Another infamous POD product is beanies. Beanies will always be an in-demand product, therefore it has the potential to bring us in huge profits. You can offer beanies for both adults and kids, as well as offer your customers a wide variety of unique embroidered designs for them to choose from. Our next POD item are pajamas, which gives people the perfect reason to go to bed in style. Make sure to sell these pajamas in attractive colors or creative prints and include short or long variations such as short or long sleeves or short or long pants. Okay, our seventh POD item are hooded baby towels. Make your baby's bath time more fun and comfortable by offering these cute hooded baby towels. You can offer these hooded baby towels in hypoallergenic materials, and you can offer these towels in baby-friendly prints, vast color, style, and size options. Up next, we have car seat covers. So as we all know, covers are there to protect seats from spills and dirt, and basically minimizes the inconvenience of having to clean the interior of your car. So when drop shipping this POD item, you can offer cover seats made from various materials, and you should ensure that the seat covers you offer can fit different car models. Up next, we have luggage tags, which makes a great customizable POD product. And you can offer these luggage tags in a variety of styles, shapes, sizes, and a vast selection of printed text and graphics to choose from. Next up, we have tablecloths, which is a must have item in every home. And you should add a variety of shapes and sizes of these tablecloths that is suitable for any kinds of tables. Make sure to offer high quality tablecloths in unique or minimal printed designs in order to maximize your profits. Our 11th POD item is shower curtains. And as we know, shower curtains are an essential product, which means that it can bring in a good amount of profits. When dropshipping these shower curtains, you can offer them in solid colors or printed designs. And make sure to offer these shower curtains in a variation of materials which are both water resistant and durable. Next up, we have a bottle opener, which makes it a great portable solution for when you're at home and you need to open a drink or even when you're outdoors. There are endless customizable options when it comes to this item, so make sure to offer variety 
in your store. And please do not use your teeth to open a bottle, rather opt for a bottle opener. Our 13th POD item are laptop sleeves. And laptop sleeves are not only there to protect your laptop, but also make it easier for you to carry your laptop around. Make sure to sell laptop sleeves that fit a variety of laptop brands and ensure that you offer these laptop sleeves in a variety of designs, styles, and color options for your customers to choose from. Next up is journals, and whether the journal is used for everyday note-taking or as a personal diary, a journal in general is great for customizations. You can offer journals with colored, ruled, graphed, and other page designs. And you can also add pages with personalized quotes or graphics. Next up, we have calendars. And as we know, calendars are used all year round, so it will always be an in-demand product. You can offer these calendars in a selection of customizable options. You can offer wall hanging or tabletop calendars. And you can include personalized calendars such as monthly images or text such as quotes. And finally, our last POD product are sports water bottles. When drop shipping this product, make sure to offer these water bottles in various sizes and styles. And most importantly, make sure that these water bottles are made from high quality materials. The worst problem to have is your water bottle leaking over absolutely everything. To add a personalized touch to this product, you can offer customized prints or designs according to the target market you're trying to reach. Okay, so we've discussed the top POD Australian products to drop ship. Now let's have a look at the top POD Australian suppliers to source these products from. So our first POD Australian supplier is Teespring and their benefits include Teespring has a user-friendly interface, which means that dropshippers can search for POD products easily. They have an array of POD products for dropshippers to choose from, which ranges from home essentials to clothing items and much more. Also, Teespring has a software that allows for quick order fulfillment, which in turn means quick shipping times. However, when it comes to their drawbacks, their shipping fees are more expensive than other suppliers. And they have inconsistent product quality, which means that the product quality can vary from one item to another. But when it comes to their pricing, Teespring is completely free. Next up, we have Gelato, which is an international POD supplier that houses a domestic warehouse in Australia. When it comes to Gelato's advantages, they deliver customers' orders in Australia as fast as 72 hours. There is also no minimum order requirement when working with this POD supplier. Angelato commits to sustainable printing processes and utilizes eco-friendly materials. However, when it comes to Gelato's disadvantages, they have fewer POD item choices online. And majority of these items are quite expensive. But thankfully, if you'd like to create an account on Gelato, it is completely free and you can enjoy a discount on your first order. Next up, we have OGO, which is an Australian-based POD company. Some of their benefits include custom branding to its clients, their order fulfillment process is both fast and reliable, and the supplier extends excellent customer support. On the downside though, OGO provides a limited selection of POD products. This company is also relatively new to the e-commerce industry, therefore its presence is not widely known yet. When it comes to OGO's pricing, you do not need to pay any subscription fees. And the upfront costs like shipping is clearly stated in every transaction. Another Australian POD company is T-Junction. And as a marketplace, this company offers a great selection of POD items to choose from. Some of T-Junction's benefits include a wide range of printing methods such as screen or digital printing. They offer free shipping to customers all over Australia. And there is no minimum order requirement. As a drawback though, if you would like your customers' orders to be shipped out fast, you have to pay higher shipping fees. Also, a big note, OGO does not provide pre-made designs. That means that you as a seller will have to provide your own designs. But you can look at this in a positive light because it's essentially helping you to build and establish your own brand. When it comes to OGO's pricing, they do not require a monthly subscription fee. The only thing you pay for is production and shipping costs. Our fifth POD supplier is the well-known Printify. When it comes to Printify's pros to have domestic performance centers located in Australia, there are also over several customization methods for you to offer your customers Customers. And even better, this POD supplier integrates with various e-commerce platforms. 
However, when it comes to Printify's cons, they have limited branding solutions for your POD business. And they provide varying product quality, which means that you as the seller would have to conduct thorough product research. However, when it comes to Printify's pricing, there is a free subscription option, but it requires you to pay the product, the design customization, and the shipping costs. There is also a premium plan subscription option at $29 a month, and that will give you access to unlimited designs and 20% off all your orders. Our sixth POD supplier is Imprint Merch. When it comes to Imprint's merch attributes, they have domestic warehouses located within Australia, which means that customers' products are delivered in about four days. Sellers also have flexibility in setting profit margins and sellers have a wide variety of pre-made designs to offer their customers. When it comes to the downsides of imprint merch, they have fewer POD product ranges and their products are generally more expensive, so you'll have to set reasonable profit margins when selling these products. However, signing up with imprint merch is completely free. Another local Australian POD company is The Print Bar. Some features of the print bar include, they utilize high-end printing technologies, which ensures that our products are top quality and long lasting. They also integrate with popular selling channels like eBay and Wix, which allows us to import our products easily. And Australian clients can take advantage of discounts on various shipping arrangements. However, there is a minimum order requirement in order to qualify for free shipping. And their customer service is not really the greatest. It is really slow, which can lead to customer related issues. When it comes to the print bar's pricing, their design generator and other features are completely free. Our eighth highly known POD supplier is Printful. Printful provides an easy to use mock-up generator that can give your customers a preview of the POD products they would like to order. Printful also offers branding solutions, which helps you to build and establish your brand in the e-commerce industry. There are also local warehouses located within Australia, which paves the way for practical fulfillment methods. However, on the downside, Printful's profit margins vary depending on the product or service provider. And the shipping arrangements are quite complex, which means it's not that reliable. As for Printful's pricing, you can enjoy all their features for absolutely free. It is good to note though that you will have to pay the fulfillment costs of products whenever a customer places their order. And finally, we have our last Australian-based POD supplier, which is John Doe. When sourcing POD items from John Doe, you can ensure high quality and long-lasting prints. They also have a domestic distribution center and the supplier has a John Doe Go program which enables us to connect our selling channels and fulfill orders efficiently and quickly. However, Jondo offers limited customization options for POD products. Also, most of their items are quite expensive in comparison to other suppliers. However, do keep in mind that some customers are willing to pay these high prices in exchange for one-of-a-kind and top-quality POD products. When it comes to Jondo's pricing, they have no subscription fees. The only thing that you do pay for are product and shipping costs. Okay, now it's time to look at how we can establish our POD business in Australia. And we can do this by utilizing seven easy steps. I'm briefly going to go through these steps, but if you'd like the full explanation of each step, make sure to read the article version of this video, which is linked in the description below. So step one would be to conduct comprehensive product research in order to get insights and preferences into the Australian markets. You can do this by exploring several different product finding methods. So method one would be to search trending products on your Australian POD suppliers websites. This will give you the knowledge that you need on the latest top selling items. You can also read product reviews on your suppliers websites. This can guide you in identifying highly rated items. The next method that you can use is Google Trends. This gives you access to market trends and consumers' behaviors in Australia. By knowing these details, you can identify suitable products that can fit these consumers' preferences and activities. The third product finding method that you can use is to spy on your competitors. There are about several tools which can uncover the products, marketing techniques, sales conversion, and more information on other sellers. For example, you can utilize the Koala Inspector, which is a spy tool for Shopify stores. The next method you can utilize is the AutoDS product research tool. You can use this tool to search for millions of products from different suppliers. When searching for items, you can set filters to give you more relevant results. For example, you have categories categories, ratings, retail prices, and more. And the final method that you can utilize is the AutoDS blog page and YouTube playlist. 
Our articles and YouTube videos are constantly updated with the latest dropshipping information. Step two would be to select an Australian POD supplier. So when getting started with your online business, you need a reliable POD supplier. And these are the following features that a reliable supplier should have. A vast catalog so that consumers are able to find POD products according to their needs. Positive reviews. Your supplier's products should have a high satisfaction rating and good customer reviews. Minimum order quantity flexibility. Preferably, your supplier should not have a minimum order quantity requirement. This way, you can sell more POD products as customers' orders come in. Great customer service. Excellent customer service goes a long way. Need I say more? Fast shipping times. This is an important feature to consider because you want your customers to receive their products as soon as possible and you want them to know that you are in fact a reliable online store. And lastly, make sure that your return policies are clear and practical. Your online store should have reasonable considerations for unsatisfactory or defective items. Our third step is to set up an Australian POD store and we can do this by choosing a selling channel where we can sell our POD items. As we all know, there are two types of selling channels. The first one is a customizable website which allows you to build your store from scratch and the second selling channel are marketplaces where you can just add your products and sell them to the public. So let's look at the selling channel customizable websites which are Shopify and Wix. When it comes to Shopify they offer full customization of your store which essentially just helps you to build your business branding. However keep in mind that Shopify does not generate organic traffic therefore you have to utilize marketing techniques in order to drive traffic to your online stores. As for Wix it is fully optimized and you have full customization of your store. But just like Shopify, Wix does not generate any organic traffic. So you'll have to invest in marketing techniques in order to promote your business to the Australian markets. Okay, now let's look at the selling channel marketplaces. And a good example of a widely used e-commerce marketplace would be eBay. So with eBay, you can enjoy a significant amount of traffic. However, eBay selling fees are quite high and their competition is quite tight. Another good thing to note is that you have to establish your business policies on eBay. Business policies is usually a roadmap as to how you manage your business processes. And these business policies actually help your customers understand how your online store works. If you head to the article version of this video, right under step three, you'll see that we've created business policy templates just for you. We've also gone into depth about what each business policy is about. So make sure to check that out. Step four would be to create designs for your POD products. And here are ways that you are able to create these designs. One, you can create these designs yourselves. This way you save from the additional costs and you have the freedom to create create any designs you wish. Two, you can hire these designers and you can find these freelancers on Fiverr. You pay these designers for their services and in return, you receive a high quality design for your POD item. And thirdly, you can buy a pre-designed template which you can find on websites such as Creative Markets. Step five would be to promote your POD Australian business. So remember that marketing is crucial if you do want to build the presence of your business. And that's exactly why we have to invest in effective marketing techniques in order to maximize our audience reach. So here are the following marketing strategies that you can utilize in order to increase the website traffic on both Shopify and Wix. You can utilize Facebook ads, influencers, email marketing, and a blog page. As for eBay, you can utilize standard promoted listings or a PPC campaign, which is a pay per click campaign. Step six would be to fulfill your customers' orders. Remember that you have to fulfill your customers' demands swiftly. And the way that you're able to fulfill these demands is by heading to your supplier's website, purchase the POD item that your customer had ordered, and then fill in your customer shipping details. Remember when the time does does come for your customer's order to be shipped out, you should provide them with their tracking information. And finally, step seven is to launch your store and to start earning money. However, when you've just launched your online business, you should keep the following in mind. You have to continuously conduct product research. This way, you'll make sure that your product listings are always up to date with the latest trends. Make sure to always provide excellent customer support from the very start all the way to the very end, even after they've received their products. 
This is key to long-term success and attaining customer loyalty. And lastly, make sure to try out dropshipping automation. As your online store grows, it can become more difficult to manage everything manually, but with automation software in place, you are able to scale your e-commerce store even more. And that's all I have for you today, dropshippers. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to stay up to date with all the latest dropshipping information within the e-commerce industry. Also, if you have any dropshipping related questions or you'd like to learn from other e-commerce sellers, make sure to join our active Facebook community or Discord group where we all help one another grow and succeed in the dropshipping scene. You can find the links to these groups via the description below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now, dropshippers.